Jesus went straight to the temple and threw out everyone who had set up shop, buying and selling. And he kicked over the tables of loan sharks and the stalls of dove merchants. And he said to them, My father's house was designed as a house of prayer, and you have made it a hangout of thieves. Now there was room for the blind and crippled to get in. And they came to Jesus and he healed them. When the religious leaders saw the outrageous things he was doing and heard all the children running and shouting through the temple, Hosanna to David's son, they were up in arms and took him to task. So we're on the second day of Holy Week and we see Jesus doing something to shock. Now this is going to be a common theme across Easter week. Jesus will do things that shock the people and the authorities. But today we see him doing something really important. He is going to the heart of authority. He is going straight to the centre of worldly religion and authority. You might remember as a kid Jesus got lost at the temple, sitting with the rabbis and the teachers of the law and the Pharisees and learning all about his Father in heaven. And here he is returning again as he would have done every year and seeing for himself how the place that was dedicated to God's goodness and his holiness, where God had to be worshipped, was transformed into a place of iniquity and money changing. It was shocking. Now, as the church changes and reforms during presbytery planning, we too will have to look different in the future. In some ways, it's like Jesus walking into the church and turning the tables over for what previously went before. The tables of religiosity and the tables of tradition and routine and of empty love. Jesus was there to shock. He was there to say, this is not how my father is to be worshipped. This place is my father's house. It's a house of prayer, not a den of inequity. It doesn't belong to the world. It's in the world, but not of the world. And so it is with the church, brothers and sisters. And actually, so it is with us. This Holy Week, search our hearts. Where are the tables of inequity? that must be turned over? Where are the stalls of inglory that doesn't show God his true honour? We are called as Christians to be like the one we serve, to be like Jesus himself. So this week, turn any table that doesn't glorify him.